Hi, this is Kishore and you're tuned in live into my channel, Kishore Kumar Energy. This is what you hear every day and this, is, this makes my channel. So, hope you're liking my videos. I make in fine entertainment videos. I give latest news, cricket videos also, some cricket news. Hope all of you are liking it. And I apologize for not giving cooking videos lately. I'm making them up. I'll bring them up in a month or so. So, you'll get it down. Now, I'm also preparing for some more videos that will come out one by one. So, for the newcomers who have, who have just come, right now in my channel please subscribe to my channel and old viewers please come regularly visit my page youtube page youtube channel and see my videos as i give them regularly so in today's video we'll learn how to make a gmail signature in a professional manner we make gmail signatures professionally so that we can present it very nicely so i will be uh, screen recording my laptop screen and showing it to you the procedure step by step you can follow them and you can make a gmail signature i have made it my, for myself i will be presenting it to you you can also make it in the same way so let's go let's get started now as you can see i have shared my screen and I open Google Drive and you have to open a new Google document first as you are seeing it I am doing it and it's opening wait a bit so everything what you have to do here is via Google Drive you can do it through Microsoft Word also if you feel like now we have to insert a table from the insert option and the table should be of 2 cross 2 as you will see it will be of 2 cross 2 we have to insert a table as you are seeing it right now hmm now you have to select the second column as you're seeing and we have to merge the cell okay and then write a di digital marketing quote as i am from digital marketing and whatever profession from you you belong to you can write that or you can use any other quote if you feel like then we have to do the thing next is we have to insert an image in the first row so I take an image from my album or I have taken it taken it from my hard drive first and uploaded it in Google photos so you have to do the same and then you can upload it here or you can directly upload it too so I'm uploading it as you are seeing right now yeah now what we have to do is we have to write our name and designation as you are seeing i am writing my one with my contact details as you can see you have to use your contact details not my one so use your contact details and if you have got a website if you run a business you have got a website you can use your website too you can give your website there so we have to do this first and then we have to set the font style and font size uh, so doing it and making the other things except name italic first and changing we have to change the colors accordingly let me first of all do it yeah so changing it to italic you have to change the you can uh, i'm changing the na name size also to a little bit more so that it becomes a little bit highlighted so now I'm changing the colors okay now comes the best part you have to add the social media buttons as you're seeing we'll be adding that one by one the social media buttons I have taken it from a website which I will name at the end of the video you can use them there are some 
social media buttons which you can download and there is commercial you usage you can uh, is allowed for that icons so you can use them so i am using them i will tell you which website i use so you're seeing now that i am uploading all the social media buttons and this all social media buttons i have downloaded it in hard drive and then uploaded it in the google photos first via google right? and i get them in the google drive so now you're seeing i'm doing it facebook blogger twitter linkedin youtube one by one as you're seeing okay so i'm doing it so as you can see i'm still adding the social media buttons and resizing them to so that all of the social media buttons which we are adding are of the same size and it looks beautiful so that is what i'm doing now i'm doing it as you're seeing so let me do it let me do it yeah so it you make uh, the professional signature because it looks good and if you are from a IT sector or you are a student who is just trying to get a job in the private sector world, you can use them very nicely. This signature will create an impression kind of thing. So at last now I'm making the quote italic as you're seeing. I'm making it italic. So that now it is the main part. We are hyperlinking all the social media accounts the buttons which i have added with my social accounts one by one you will see it i am adding my facebook profile i will add my youtube profile linkedin twitter everything one by one and you will get the hyperlink button as you're seeing it the icon so you have to do it one by one as you're seeing so why do we use hyperlinking is one question you, which you would ask it is because when the signature with the, which you give during saluting a salutation part in your signature he might the person might whom you're sending might see that and he can directly visit your profiles your professional profiles your facebook profile if he feels like if you have got a youtube channel he can visit your youtube channel so that is why we do this hope you are able to understand the way i am explaining it so you are seeing my channel as you are seeing so i will tell the new visitors who are coming in please subscribe to my channel and the old visitors to comment as if they have liked the video or not or it, if it is helpful or not and new visitors please subscribe share if you feel like that this video is providing some kind of information to all of the other viewers so now you're seeing as i have to eliminate all the boxes from the outside so i select the cells one by one as you're seeing and i make the border width equal to zero as you're seeing it and now i have to do the line spacing i have to add a line in between so i add a line in between with in the right side you're getting the icon and the border width to 1.5 as you it now the thing which i have to do is just to adjust the space between the picture and the writing part which i am doing it as you are seeing and uh, it'll, it will look good that is why we are doing it i think <laughs> because much more space it looks weird kind of so i am just kind of designing it a little bit and uh, now we have to select and copy the file the thing and now i will be opening my gmail as you're seeing i have to open my gmail and put the signature into it so i'm opening it's taking time a bit my internet is a little bit slow so let me open open it's still taking a little bit time huh. so it's opening now hopefully yeah it's opening Now as you are seeing, we have opened Gmail and we are going to settings, as you are seeing it, we have to open the settings option, wait a bit, what's happening, wait a bit, and I apologize for the 
a little bit laggy kind of thing that's happening it's the internet is a little bit slow today so now you can see the settings as you I'm opening it mm -hmm. mm, it's opening yeah it's opening so now we'll go to signature and we'll just save the changes we'll go to signature we'll copy we'll paste it down there and just save changes okay and the last thing which i wanted to say was that the website i'm using is soft icon so you can use that i will give it in the description also you can use the commercial uses whichever is allowed you can use that and hope has provided you enough information so if you're finding if you found the video to be good so like the video also subscribe to my channel so old visitors also and new visitors you can comment also